Hi guys, hi, welcome to my presentation. Welcome to this presentation. I'll be discussing uh, psychotic symptoms of a mental illness and I'm focusing on hallucinations this time around. So let's uh, see what are hallucinations. A hallucination, ladies and gentlemen, is simply a perception that someone has in the absence of stimuli. Okay, so someone may be seeing images or hearing voices when there's no one talking or seeing someone when there's no one in the environment. That is a hallucination. So there is a difference between a hallucination and an illusion. An illusion, there must be a stimuli. For example, if there is a belt on the floor, then the person is seeing a snake when there's a belt. That is an illusion. When there's no belt, the floor is clear, there's nothing, but the person is seeing a snake on the floor. That is a hallucination. Okay, so we are discussing hallucinations now. So there are different types of hallucinations that we need to know about different types of hallucinations. And the, all these types of hallucinations affect the five senses that we have. The five senses that we have. So um, we have auditory hallucinations that affect the sense of hearing. Visual hallucinations, they affect the sense of sight. Tactile hallucinations. They affect the sense of touch and gustatory hallucination they affect the sense of taste and olfactory hallucinations these affect the sense of uh, hearing okay so let's see what are these types of hallucinations let's look at let's look at them in details and see what they are so auditory hallucinations uh, these are the most common types of hallucinations that you will find among us people who are suffering from a mental illness. And uh, the patient may hear voices very clearly, even if you are not hearing them because you are normal. The person who is sick may be hearing these voices clearly and you don't have to argue with them. Uh, voices may be amusing, meaning the patient may be hearing voices that are passing co um, that that are passing um, amusing comments okay they are passing jokes and the person will be seen laughing and smiling alone uh, voices may also be threatening where the patient may uh, end up going into hiding may become very fearful and they don't want to be exposed because they are they are being threatened by these voices they are hearing. Sometimes voices may be abusive and insulting uh, where the patient may end up uh, feel ashamed. Okay, the patient is going to be shamed and they, 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 will, they will lose that self-motivation. Voices may also be commanding, instructing the patient to do or carry out actions that they do not want to take. Okay, and uh those are commanding voices neutral voices these are voices that may just be talking about something else and the patient is hearing these voices discussing something like a radio okay the person will be seated quietly like they are listening to a radio okay so these are auditory hallucinations all right the other thing I would like to talk about is uh, are the signs of hallucination of a hallucinating person. Signs of a hallucinating person. The person may be laughing alone or shouting back at the unseen people, okay, because they are hearing these voices, so they will end up laughing or shouting at the person who's who's shouting at them or talking to them or commanding them. May just sit quietly but very attentively, trying to listen carefully to what the voices are saying. Okay, this is another thing that may happen to the patient. They may just sit quietly, trying to listen to these voices, uh, trying to get what they are saying. Occasionally, he may ask you to listen. Okay, he he may ask you to listen to what they are, to listen to what these voices are saying, or listen to what they are saying. 
makes an effort to block off the noises by plugging their ears with fingers or cotton. Yeah, sometimes when voices are, are too much, they are threatening so much, the patient may decide to block uh, their ears because they don't want to hear these voices anymore. Okay. And um, sometimes the voices may may accuse oh uh, yes sometimes the patient may accuse members of the family of abusing him because he's hearing their voices so he is going to accuse them of of abusing of abusing him okay when especially when he relates those voices to any member of the family he's going to start accusing that person of abusing him okay um Auditory hallucinations are common in schizophrenia. Yes, they are very, very common in schizophrenia. <clears throat> so we have different types of uh, auditory hallucinations. Sorry, I didn't list them down here. We have different types of auditory hallucinations. We have audible thoughts. Audible thoughts, this is where a person is hearing his own thoughts. He begins to hear his own thoughts through his own ears. Okay. We, the other type of hallucination, auditory hallucination, is called extracampine hallucination. This is where the patient claims to hear voices from another town when he's in a different town. Okay. Or from a distant place. He could be in Zambia and then he's claiming to hear voices of his enemies in the village telling him to do something or talking about him that's an extra campaign hallucination extra campaign meaning extra compass it's outside compass out of reach functional hallucination it's another type of hallucination that um, the patient may may suffer from the functional hallucination the type of hallucination where the patient hears voices when there's um, another known sound playing. For example, if the radio begins to play, that's when the patient hears these uh, voices talking about him. Okay, this is where you see a patient uh, at attacking the radio. He picks up the radio and smashes it on the ground because whenever the radio plays, he hears these voices talking about him or commanding him to, to do something or threatening him. So he ends up smashing the radio. Okay, that type of a hallucination is called functional hallucination. Okay, functional hallucination. All right, so apart from uh, auditory hallucinations, we have visual hallucinations these are less common among people suffering from mental illness and schizophrenia we also have and uh, may see things that aren't there the person may see things that are not there because these visual hallucinations are affecting the sense of sight okay so the person may be seeing images that are not in the environment actually for example you might see insects crawling on your hand or on the face of someone you know all right so these are simply visual hallucinations tactile hallucinations these affect the sense of touch okay these are fairly common and the person usually tend to have the sensation of touch or something crawling on his skin tactile hallucination is a false perception of tactile sensory sensory input that creates a hallucinatory sensation of physical contact with an imaginary object so the person begins to 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 feel like there's something that is touching him okay that is a tactile type of hallucination um, another type of hallucination is called phantosmia also known as olfactory hallucination phantosmia or olfactory hallucination this type of hallucination um, affects the sense of smell uh, this one makes the patient detect smells that are not in the environment okay so these smells could be these odors could be pleasant or very foul smelling so they may occur in both nostrils or just one nostril okay so uh, the person has what we call phantom smells gasetory hallucination gasetory type of hallucination this is a type of hallucination that affects the a sense of the sense of taste so gustatory hallucination affects the sense of taste. 
The person usually has a bad taste of the food. It could be uh, it, it could be bad taste or very good taste of food. Okay. And when the person has got this type of uh, um, the taste, they may end up refusing to eat the food because they are they 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 feel the food is poisoned and they want to be someone is trying to poison them because they are having this bad taste of food. So when the person has got gustatory hallucination, the the taste of food is usually altered. Okay, they have a bad taste of the food that they are eating. Sometimes the taste could be very improved and it feels so good. Uh, the kind of taste that other people are disliking, they find it very, very nice. Okay, so that's gustatory hallucination. All right, so these are the types of hallucinations, ladies and gentlemen, that, uh, you, that usually affects patients with uh, schizophrenia. I wish I could explain them better than this. I hope this information could help a little. Okay, thank you so much for listening.